You know, as the uh, non-scientists on the RTB Scholar team, an area of science that I find rather puzzling, uh, maybe even rather mysterious, is this area called quantum mechanics. And to unpackage this particular area, we've invited uh, a distinguished scholar, uh, Dr. Darren Williams, who is a, a physical chemist. And Darren, I wonder if you could take a, a big topic like quantum mechanics and kind of give us, a, give us an understanding of how to get our minds around something like that. Sure. I think it's always good to just start with the terms. You know, what does the, the two words quantum mechanics mean? That's, it's pretty simple to unpack that. The, the idea of quantum comes, you think of quantity, so little units of, of, of energy or, uh, you know, some quantity of energy or packets of light. We talk about photons. Yeah. But, but let's think of a ramp. You know, a ramp is not quantized in terms of altitude. On a ramp, you can be at any altitude. But a stairwell is quantized in altitude. So you can be on a certain stair and have a quantum unit of altitude. So quantum is really just this, this idea that nature is not like a ramp but it's okay. more like a staircase. And that molecules, atoms, uh, they have these units of energy that we call quanta of energy. They have energy states that can be described. Now the mechanics part, that's also yeah. very mysterious to people because what a you know, mechanic is someone that works on your yeah, car, right. exactly. But mechanics is just the mathematics of, of these wave equations. Okay. So we had classical mechanics, which was like pendula and, and springs, mass on a spring, or catapults, which is most people's favorite, you know, in their high school physics class, they right. build a catapult. But uh, the mechanics is the mathematics of that. And so classical mechanics would be using Newton's laws of motion, and then quantum mechanics would be using wave functions and describing nature uh, in the quantized states. Now, why is this, why would a topic like this be important to a Christian uh, how might this yeah. topic come up in a science faith context? Right. Um, well, just in general, anybody, uh, we use phenomena or we use products that rely on this quantum phenomena all the time. Uh, lasers are all based upon this idea of, of quantum states. And so from your barcode scanner at the grocery store to a laser pointer, uh, those are all based upon an or created because of our knowledge of, of quantum mechanics. Another thing too is all spectroscopic measurements and, and even the interactions of, of molecules to produce colors. So when you see color, when you see, uh, when you're in the hospital and they put a pulse oximeter on your finger, it's right. looking at the red color of your blood to know how much oxygen you have in it. All of those things rely on this quantum theory because we can't understand spectroscopy without quantum mechanics. Now, is the seemingly mysterious nature of quantum mechanics, does that have to do with we're dealing with such very small entities that it seems I think, mysterious? Yes, I think there's something to the, the size issue. It's hard to conceive of things that small. But I think also the, the idea that, that a mass of particle like an electron right. might actually be described very accurately as a wave. And what does that mean? Mm. You know, is there, where's the particle? If you're dealing with a wave function, uh, you know, where's, where's the boundary of the particle? Right. Right. And so this particle wave discussion is, is confusing to folks. And so that sort of heightens the mysterious aspect of it. Another thing that's mysterious is you have light with a wavelength that may be 300 nanometers, 300 mm. billionths of a meter. And it's going to interact with something that's much, much smaller, an atom. You know, how does something that we would conceive when we say the wavelength conceive as being very large interact with something very small? And so there's a, a lot of mysterious concepts that surround the, the quantum mechanical discussions.